There we go. Hello, everyone. Oh, God. I, I love immediately beginning with stuff in my face. But hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome back to the stream. Hope everyone's doing fantastic today. Let me quickly do my funny alerts. There we go. I almost added the Unite crew. You stinky. I'm not stinky. How you doing, Shulk? <laughs> How you doing? Shiny hunting day. Uh, I just kind of wanted to shiny hunt today. It was like the main thing with today is I just kind of, I just kind of got in the mood. So we're just going to do that today and have a good time, you know. I did do a few resets. The heck? Why? Why, Rom? What did I do? I've done like nothing wrong. Good. <laughs> Good on watching a stinky fish on Twitch, bro. I ain't even stinky. I want fish. Don't catch the fish. I'm not a Pokemon, man. God, shout out to coffee. But I did do a few resets. Hey, Eddie, how you doing? I did do a few resets, pretty much trying to get like some decent outbreaks, which I, I, I like to think we got a good chunk today. That we should be fine in catching. Keyword is should. Stinky lumpfish. I'm not stinky, bro. <laughs> Skylanders was a good time. I had a good time in VC yesterday. I would have gone longer, but I got a little bit overstimmed. Stinky? I ain't stinky, bro. I literally took a shower yesterday, and in my entire chat's like, oh my god, stinky. It's like the hell, guys. Prove it? How the hell am I supposed to prove that shit? Tell that to my nose, bruh. I don't need to prove nothing. You guys just have to go off my word because my word is like law. Hey, Leek. How you doing? If I can, like, get my camera to, like, calibrate the way I want. I think we're good now. I think we are. Take a water. I'm not pouring water on me. Also rude. How you doing, Songo? I'm doing pretty good. Did my usual morning workout. Took it a little bit easier today simply just because of the fact that, like... Simply for the fact that, like... I... God, my brain. Simply for the fact that, like, I, I, I wasn't feeling the best and was very tired. I got Master Sword with four hearts. Nice. Your word may be law, but my word is divine commands. That's certainly one way to put it. That's certainly one way to put it. Like, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I was up pretty late because I just couldn't, like... I, 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 I couldn't sleep well. I, I'm doing my best. I'm trying to lose some weight. Did Roddy see the pick yet? He hasn't said anything yet. No. I'm not stinky. Oh my god. How you doing, Chocolate? Your word may be law, but I evade taxes. No, chat. We are not condoning tax evasion again. We're not going off this rant again. I hope y'all paid your taxes because tax season's over. Ah! Stop trying to catch me. I'm not a Pokemon. Oh, my God. Yes, it's still evading your taxes. You were literally, like... You missed a shiny Litleo? Nuh-uh. I didn't miss shit. Saw it. There was a shiny on my screen. Oh, my God. I haven't missed nothing. You're just gaslighting me. Oh, good. Take your time. I literally, like, uh, like restarted my internet before going live just because I did not want, like, a repeat of yesterday. I was, like, so, like, scared my internet was just gonna die midstream again. I'm like, I'm gonna literally just reboot my internet. Hey, Red King. How you doing? Yeah, no, ye yesterday was, uh, it was a great stream until my internet, uh, died. 
If not Pokemon, then why catch? I don't know. People keep trying to throw, like, dive balls at me and shit. And it's like, what the hell, man? Like, I've done nothing, but, like, my entire chat's, like, low lamel. It's kind of mean, you know? Kind of rude. Kind of, kind of, kind of unpuggers. Oh, my God. Looking back, it was a deerling and a rowlet next to each other. Yeah, exactly. I didn't miss nothing. It is. I kind of forgot the new season's coming out today. I'm probably going to end up streaming it next week. Next week, I'll be doing an, I'll do an Overwatch stream. I'm not exactly sure which day next week, but next week I'll be throwing on an Overwatch uh, stream just so we can check out the new season. Ah! Stop throwing dive balls at me. Y'all are being so mean. I'm just like existing and y'all are just throwing balls at me. That's kind of mean. Like, why y'all doing this, man? I'm trying to entertain and shit. And y'all are trying to put me in a damn dive ball. Like, the heck? Speeding so games, I was debating whether to stream Fortnite because I don't know content needed. I mean, I like the new season, so. Thought you liked balls? Huh? Jesse? Jesse, what the fuck? Accept my love and affection. Be my Pokemon. No, I don't want to be that. I don't want to be. I don't want to be someone's Pokemon. I want to be a fish. I want to be funny fish that is on the internet and plays video games and does war crimes sometimes. You know, the occasional war crime as a treat. As a treat. Nothing crazy, just as a treat. Would you rather prefer being put in a dive ball or being put in a jar? I'd rather be in a dive ball because when I'm put in a jar, it's like the fuck. Ow! Stop throwing shit at me! Owie. Y'all are being rude. Rude. Ow. I'm being hit by so much stuff, man. This is mean. But as I was saying, I'd rather be put in a dive. Ow! What the heck? I'm being hit by my fixations again. Ow. Rude. It'd be funny if Jar was redeemed, but it was like 1 million points. Nah, I'm not like, giving people a chance to redeem that shit. You guys want to put me in a jar? You give me 100 bucks. That's how it works. Is that Venom? Yes. Venom's part of my hyperfixation redeem. All the stuff I like gets put in the hyperfixation redeem. And just gets thrown at me. If I put you in a jar, I'm going to name the jar Cajun Spice. Don't. I would be mean. I don't want to be in a jar. I got three. Now put your hand in the jar. I'm not putting the hand in the jar. Also, hi, Strawberry. One million points is a few years of... <laughs> a few years worth of saving. I mean, yeah, but like... I don't want to give people that hope. Also, then people would just start saving their channel points instead of spending them. Like, that's the point, man. You're supposed to spend channel points. Hey, Star. How you doing, man? Ah. I mean, the people know what they want. <laughs> oh. Good lord. How you doing, Star? I mean, like people hop on in and they they want <laughs> they want the they want the tummy. <laughs> I want to lay on it respectfully. Oh my lord! 
If we force a... Um... Um... No comment. No comment. We're just gonna... We're gonna glaze... We're gonna glaze over that shot. We're gonna... No comment. Uh... But for the sake... Of argument... I'm gonna ask you don't... Click that. I'm gonna ask you don't click that... If we find a shiny. I'm gonna ask... I'm gonna ask you don't, you know, because that'd be like kinda kinda mean, kinda cringe. And uh, you know, you don't wanna be cringe, right? No, you don't wanna be cringe. So don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> you know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna say no. No 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 no. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you don't. <laughs> if 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 I see a force game over the second I see a shiny, uh I will cry. It would be funny for the it would be it would be funny for the bit, but also it would be kind of mean. Ah, uh, Groudon. It's Groudon. Groudon looking shorter than I remember. I mean... I don't know what you're talking about. Like, that's a big boy right there. That's a... <laughs> that's a big boy. Groudon tees nuts. No, I don't think I will. I mean, he's probably been bigger. Like, it's definitely bigger than, like, like, what was it? Like, work, what, lock, eh, walking around with him and, like, sword and shield. I think he's at least bigger than that. To my knowledge. To my knowledge. The old games make him look bigger. I mean, I can believe it. Probably because you're taller than him, Hale. How tall is, like, Groudon canonically? Like, do we... Like, what's, what's Groudon's canonical height? In, like, the Pokedex? Because I, I, I know he's, like, supposed to be, like, uh, like, a tall man. I'm assuming, like, Kaiju size or something. Do we have, like, an exact height that we can go off of chat? Eleven? Eleven foot six? What is this ground on? Why is he like I'm I'm it, I'm taller than ground on in lore It I'm 13 feet tall. I'm taller than ground on. How tall is Kyogre? How tall is Kyogre? 16 feet in primal? That's still not, like, impressive, though. There's, like, so many, like, houses bigger than him. Kyogre is 14-9. Bruh. I expected them to be, like, fucking massive kaijus. Instead, they're like, you're Kyogre-sized? What, you call me a whale? SM fucking H. That's so rude to say to a lady. SM fucking I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Or am I? <laughs> Alright, I don't see no shit. You see, Rayquaza makes sense. That makes sense. Like he's a long guy. A whale of a good time. Oh my fucking god. Bro out here trying to sa save save. <laughs> Star's like, I got you, Chocolate, I got you. Don't worry, I can save this. <laughs> He's a very long boy. I mean, I'm a long gal. My height does come from, like, my length. Well, yeah, I'm 13 feet when, like, in length. 
Like, if I were to, like, stand up on my tail, then, yeah, I'm 13 feet. However, doing so is not really possible. Because, you know, uh, I don't know if you've ever attempted to stand on tail fins. Um, doesn't, doesn't work out. Lugia is 17-1. I mean, that makes sense. Like, those are, those are the, those are the sizes that I feel like, you know, like, yeah, that's, that's understandable. Oh, chat, you guys want to see what I got the other night? I got the, I, I got a, I got another shiny, um, I got another shiny Sunday night. Uh, I got a bag on. I got a shiny bag on. That was pretty cool. Pokemon Heights are just so funny to me because there will be like stuff that's like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And then and then they'll just be like uh just some stupid shit. It's great. I need to see art of L Lugia and Luigi's outfit. I mean, I'm sure you can find it. Also, how you doing, Sam? Zapdos is 5'3". Ah. Yeah, that makes... That also makes sense. But, yeah, no. I, if I, like... What is Hale's height? I'm 13 feet long. If I were to stand... Like, if I were to, like, made to stand up straight... Like, from the tip... Like, the tip of my tail fin to the top of my head spikes... It would be thir It would be 13 feet. Adjusting for tail curvature, the closest height you could have is seven feet three uh three inches or six foot one. Yee, that makes sense. Like we're talking length thirteen feet. If we're talking like height around there, she gets taller. No, nah, I get bigger. There's a difference. Taller means I get actually like, you know, taller. Bigger means um yeah. <laughs> oh, my lord. We're goofy. We're silly. So, Hale's actually Dragonair size. Dragonair is third. Oh, huh. Neat. Well, yeah, but like... You know, I, 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 I'm I trying to make a boob joke is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to make fun of my boob and tummy. Uh, that's, that's, what, that's like what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be silly, alright? I'm trying to be goofy. I'm trying to be funny. Horizontally taller, not vertically taller. <laughs> True. Hey, Dito, it's been a hot second indeed. How you doing? It's definitely been a hot second. Welcome back. How you doing, man? Been grinding and working. Valid, valid. Life happens. All good. Doing pretty good right now. Just shiny hunting and chatting, chatting with chat. You know, because what else do you do with chat? <laughs> Doing not too bad. 13 feet, not tall enough. This is what a normal lumpfish looks like. It is more elongated, but still a vibrant blue color. Very, Very beautiful. beautiful. Very, Very powerful. powerful. Oh. I, 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 I love that video so much. If Hale was a Pokemon, what would Hale's level up moveset be? Oh, probably like standard physical attacking water type moveset mixed in with some like ice stuff and like maybe like close combat thrown in just randomly because why not? I have D&D &D later tonight. I'm excited. Oh, hell yeah, man. I hope it goes well. Hope you have a great time, dude. Yeah, later tonight I have uh, I have work. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not at the stage where I can quit my job and just stream all the time. I don't think I'm ever going to reach there, but, you know, a gal can dream. But, yeah, you know, I'm content either way. 
Me using water gun would just be me spitting out water. Have y'all ever seen how, like, Keldeo canonically uses moves like Hydra Bump, Pump and shit? He shoots it from the hooves. It's really funny looking. Like, Keldeo shoots, like, Hydro Pump and stuff, like, from his hooves. It, 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 like, when I first saw that, I was like, that's, that's cool. That's kind of clever. I don't know, I just thought that, I just thought that was funny. For whatever reason, like, the Swords of Justice movie just lingers in my head rent-free sometimes. I imagine Hale would naturally learn milk drink. No, chat, I do- I, We've been over this! I don't have milk! We've been over this, chat! Find it funny there's a motorcycle Pokemon? We have a car Pokemon as well, it's awesome. I like when Pokemon can do goofy shit. So, oh my god, they, they're running out of ideas, like, through the car into Pokemon. Yeah, but it's, like, steel and poison and sticks its tongue out and literally, like, spins out to attack. That's awesome. That's awesome. What are you, boring? Yeah, it's called Rev of Room. I actually have a competitively trained one. There it is. I named mine Hot Rod. It's a car. It's pretty awesome. I also got a shiny one. Where is it? There you are. I got a shiny one as well. Right there. I gotta try and talk to the artist of the fish hail to see how much it would be to shoot water out of your mouth. <laughs> like my model, like my model, uh, rigger. Uh, that would be a Shadzi question, because Shadzi's the one who, like, rigged my model. Somehow, Varum is faster in the overworld than Rev of Room? It's funny. Yeah, uh, if you want to know, that would be a Shadzi question. Like, literally, if people want to add stuff to my model, just ask and pay for it if you want it that badly. I'm down for anything. Like, if people want to, like, me to have, like, funny animations or more expressions or add some goofy stuff, literally just, like, go to Shadzi, ask how much it would be, and she would do it. It's the same thing with, like, when the, out when the human model comes out. If people want outfits, all they gotta do is just pay for them. And I'll do put on any outfit for the human model. There's an event rubber room you can get right now? Hmm. Noted. There's so many Charmanders. I don't... I I don't care. If I... Oh my god. If I get a shiny, shiny Charmander, I will actually release that shit. Or more of... I guess just not evolve it. You're the Charizard. He's so cool. I'm gonna hit it with a rock. The Charizard. Yeah, but a rock. <laughs> Me with Charizard. Me when I have a big rock. <laughs> what, are, what are you gonna do now? Yeah, Charmanders uh, are very silly guys. Very silly. Like, I'm always gonna have a bias towards, like, Charizard being overrated. It's like... I don't dislike Charizard as much as I used to. As a kid, I was obnoxious about that shit. But man, they really gave Charizard two Mega Evolutions. And they're gonna give him a third one, I guarantee. I'm working on a team that uses Garganical for reg uh, Regulation G. Garganical is a Pokemon I'm looking at for Reg G. I feel like Garganical will probably, like, might actually go back in stock. Because, like, Salt Cure and Wide Guard are just some of, the, like, the best options you could have. I don't know. I, 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 I'm kind of interested. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Like, there, there's just so many ideas for Regulation G that I want to give a shot. Because I genuinely feel like 
Garganacle or Garganical, however it's pronounced. Like, I feel like it can genuinely be, like, really strong. I guarantee if they wanted to, they would have given a Charizard, like, Charizard a Z move. Like, they, that game, I love the idea of Game Freak holding back, be like, no, they're gonna realize, they're gonna realize. And then, like, Sword and Shield comes out, like, we are going to make the champion signature Pokemon Charizard. And we're giving Charizard a Gigantamax form. That's debatably the best Gigantamax form. Like, it's insane, but what's crazy is Charizard isn't even the most popular Pokemon anymore. Like, I got dethroned, like, years ago. Like, objectively, the most popular Pokemon is Greninja. So you'd think they'd be pushing Greninja. Like, I, like Charizard wasn't even, like, in the top three, to my knowledge. I would love to see them actually redo that list at, like, maybe in five years to see if the opinion has fluctuated. But I know at least at the moment Greninja is still the most popular. Which, yeah, makes sense. Well, it is, but, like, in my head, like, it feels like, you know, when you have a Pokemon officially deemed the most popular Pokemon in the world, you would give it, like, more biased. You know? Maybe that's just a me thing. I don't know. And I don't even dislike Greninja. I like Greninja. I think Greninja's alright. Like, not particularly a Pokemon I'm super thrilled, like, over. I was a chess pin, dude. But that's just me. Take your time, Star. Take your time. I don't know, that's, again, that's just like a me thing. Like, Grin I, I understand why Greninja is the most popular. Like, I do understand why. I am very much in the camp that, like, I like him. He's alright. I don't dislike him. I mean, there's not a lot of Pokemon I even dislike. It's like a small list. I used to actually force myself to make, like... My least favorite Pokemon of every type, just so I can throw Charizard in every fucking category he's in. But, if I had to make an actual, like, maybe, like, top, like, or, like, bottom five Pokemon, it would be, like, Charizard, Urshifu, Zacian, uh... In, I don't even know of a fifth one, but I know, like, the last one would be, like, Enamorous. I hate Enamorous. I hate looking at it. I hate looking at Enamorous. Enamorous is the one Pokemon I is that's on my bottom list because of its design. All the other ones are, like, for other reasons. Like, Zacian and Urshifu were there because they fucking ruined competitive by existing. Like, Zacian's okay this generation. Which, thank God. Still not gonna get over the fact that it ruined Unite. And... A bunch of other shit when Zashim was, like, good. And Urshifu is obnoxious now. I just hate fighting that thing. But... I'd say those, uh, little, little critters. I don't really hate, like... A lot of Pokemon. For me, I, I there's a lot of Pokemon I've been different about. But i rather, like, be indifferent than just say, like, Oh, yeah, I hate this Pokemon. Uh, might have been Silicobra, you saw. I think Silicobra spawn around here. I think? It might have been Silicobra, I'm not sure. Because I, I, I do know Silicobra do at least spawn around, like, this area. 
to an extent. Let me, let me, let me keep despawning and respawning in Pokemon. Let me keep doing this. Eventually, my shiny will spawn. I mean, I'd be down for a Shuckle evolution. I mean, the nicest thing about, like, Gen 9 is that we're finally getting just flat-out new evolutions for Pokemon again. And I hope it does continue. I hope we at least get, like, maybe, like, one or, one or two more Pokemon evolutions in, uh... I mean, I'm sure we'll get more Pokemon evolutions in ZA. But... I, I'm assuming the majority of the Pokemon, like, new Pokemon we get will probably be Megas. Mega Shuckle, the shell gets twice as large. And Berry Juice leaking out of his holes gets 50 more defense, 50 more special defense. And lore-wise, it says it's drunk off Berry Juice. <laughs> oh, my God. I keep forgetting Shuckle's whole thing is the Berry Juice. Oh, I'm super excited for ZA. When they said, like, the entire game takes place in Lumio City, I'm like, oh. Oh, interesting. Like, I, 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 I really do hope we get gameplay at some point in the summer. Even if it's early gameplay. Like, I, I hope we at least get something. And the fact that we still don't have a release date makes me so happy. I hope it's late next year that we get it. Like, we're totally finally going to get AZ Floet, right? Like, we're, we're finally going to get that thing, right? Like, 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 we all agree we're, we're, we're getting that back, right? <laughs> right? Right? Oh, please tell me we're actually getting it now. Like, they literally programmed this Pokemon with a signature move. It never got released. And then, like, was in the next game. And then they said, nah, it's gone now, lol. But I think Flare Cannon... Not Flare Cannon. That's... That's, uh, Magirna's signature move. What was AZ's... Floet's signature move again? I think it was, like, 150 damage. But it took, like, half your HP or something. I knew it had a signature move. I knew it was like, so it was it was like something ruin. I want to say it was a ridiculously strong fairy move. But I don't know. I I, I just still find it crazy that like that Pokemon's existed, but just never was officially released. There was just a lot during Generation Six. That just felt like it just never happened. Like, all these, like, loose ends. But I don't dislike Generation 6. Honestly, I, I might end up doing, like, a playthrough of Gen 6 soon. I'm debating what to do for, like, my next game. Like, my next single-player game. I want to do another single-player Pokemon playthrough soon. Like, I want to do that at some point. And there's a few games I'm looking at. I know Pokemon Rogue is, like, the big thing right now. I have no idea what Pokemon Rogue is outside of, like, minor screenshots I've seen. But outside of, like, a few screenshots that I've seen pop up on my timeline from friends playing Pokemon Rogue, I don't know much about it. But I would love to give it a shot. I know, like, I'm a little late to the party, but, you know, I'd like to give it a shot. Lamau. Oh, that's funny. Right, I keep forgetting Satu exists outside of Pokemon Unite. Because Satu is, like, the, the beginning Pokemon in the jungle. But Pokemon Rogue is, like, one game I'm looking at. Another Pokemon game I'm looking at. 
is uh, X and Y. Where X and Y is on my other maybe list. Just because I want to give that game another shot. It's been years. Like, it's been years since I've played through X or Y, and I've been slowly chipping away at my own save, like, in my own Pokemon X save file. But I haven't, like, made substantial pro progress, so. I'm. I'm. It, it's a maybe. It's a maybe. Also, hi, hi, Joan. Stare into the eyes of my Zatu. Me, um, no. <laughs> Wait, you don't wanna you don't wanna stare at a Zatu? One of the Pokemon of all time? X and Y are my favorite Pokemon games. Diamond and Pearl is my top ta uh, top tier for me. Nice. I mean I'm always gonna love black and white. Black and white are always gonna be my go to Pokemon games. I, I I love those games so much. Like I'm I'm a big I'm a big I'm a big, big fan. Uh, I can see what you're saying, Joan. I can see it. I was high, Draco. But I, I, I'd say those two Pokemon games are like my go-tos. I also want to get back to Coliseum at some point. We were doing great on Coliseum and I lost my save file. So what I might do is I might like do a a, a multi. I'm, I might do like a, a like one of those single player game streams where I just hop in a VC and let people chat until like we catch up to where we originally were with Pokemon Coliseum. Because that was like two years ago I tried doing that. That was like back when I had my 3D model if I remember correctly. Because, like, I actually own XD physically. I own XD physically. I have not been able to get Coliseum physically because of the fact that, like, you know, GameCube games are ridiculously overpriced. I, I mean, you're not wrong. I am a fish, so I guess I can't fight you there. Also, hi, Joker. Like, I, 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 I guess I can't. I found a, a like Gale of Darkness at my friend's local game store. Like I, I, I've said a few times, but my I have a friend who actually own like runs a, a, a game store, and he had it in stock along with the XD uh, GameCube that I got like a hundred bucks off of because yeah, I, I'm just a friend. So I got the the XD Gale of Darkness GameCube and. I got XD Gale of Darkness as well. I never played them, but I use the X like my XD Gale of Darkness GameCube is my GameCube. I had a like I had a um like the what 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 color is like the GameCube like indigo is that what it is? But I had that GameCube for years until I like traded it purple crew. But I had like the I had the normal GameCube. For like years until I picked up the the other one, and I gave like Cody Indigo like the the Indigo GameCube. I saw both Gale of Darkness and Call of CM for twenty bucks at a game store a long time ago. God, I I wish we were still in those days. I wish we were still in those days. Pokemon games are fucking absurd in the secondhand market. At some point, I will be doing a playthrough of every Pokemon game. At some point. Like, at, at, at some point, I'm going to binge every Pokemon game. Starting from Gen 1 all the way to Gen 9. I don't know how I want to format it yet. I know there's a way I'm going to do it. But at the very least, like, I, I want to do something special for that. Where I go through every generation. From, like, you know, red, silver, like, a red, uh, red, blue, yellow, silver, gold, crystal, uh, you know, ruby, sapphire, emerald, 
Like, I want to figure out what's the best way to approach that. I'm not sure how yet, though. I want to. I want to do, like, a playthrough of every Pokemon game. Like, back to back. And in my head, there's a few ways. Well, I, I could, but, like, I want to do something, like, some kind of rule sets to it. Like, I've considered... Hey, Ben, how you doing? I considered maybe doing something like... I don't know. I bring two Pokemon from the previous team to the new team or something. Like, some way to feel like the entire journey is kind of connected instead of just playing through every Pokemon game. Like, I want to do something special. But I'm not sure how yet. I, I, at some point, I will, though. It's going to happen. The same way I say I'm going to stream every Skylander game. Though, to be fair, I said the same thing about Ben 10 for, like, over a year. And we're getting close to the end. We have, like, three games left. We have three games of Ben 10 left. And then I get to start planning for the Skylanders marathon. Kind of. Yeah, kind of. Nuzlocke the entire series? I could. I, I, I want to find some way to just make it special. Instead of just play through every Pokemon game. I want to make it feel like it's a full journey kind of thing. But before I can do something like that. Well, I actually, I own almost every Skylander. I'm just missing uh, about, like, I think 24 of them. Probably not spinoffs. And probably not remakes. It would probably just be, like, going through every mainline generation game. Spinoffs? Maybe at some point I might give that a shot. Maybe at some point. Like, the thing with spinoffs is that a lot of Pokemon spinoffs could just be one-off streams. Because there's enough spinoffs that are short enough to where, like, yeah, I could totally do this in, like, a one-off stream. Like, Pokemon Rumble. I want to do a Rumble stream before the month ends. I have never finished either of those. I My friend had Pokemon Ranger. And the main memory I have of Pokemon Ranger... I don't know which game it was, but I want to say an evil team or important NPC person in Pokemon Ranger uh, had a Drapion. He he had a Drapion, and my me, my friend Noah and I we never beat the Drapion. That's like the one memory I have of Pokemon Ranger. I don't know which. I don't know which Ranger game that was, but I remember fighting a Drapion that was kind of like an important NPC or like an important Pokemon encounter or something, and we just never beat it. Pokemon Rangers, I do know how I could play through Rangers on stream, though. I have a drawing tablet. I just use the drawing tablet. Like, unironically, I, 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 I want to do Kid Icarus Uprising at some point as well. And what I'm literally going to do for Kid Icarus Uprising is I'm going to have my left hand have, like, my my, uh, my controller. And my right hand, I'm going to have my stylus. And I'm going to use my drawing tablet for it. Hi, Deadpool. How you, gonna, how you doing? Because, unironically, that is the best way you can emulate Kid Icarus Uprising on, like, Citra. Which, thank god I got Citra before fucking... Thank, thank god I got Citra before that shit shut down. How you doing, Deadpool? Oh, Kid Icarus Uprising is my second favorite game of all time. It's literally neck and neck for Pokemon White for, like, my favorite game of all time. I adore Uprising. My mind went somewhere else, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, Shulk? Where'd your mind go? Hmm? Hmm? I, 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 I hope one day we do get another 
Ken Icarus game. I really do hope. Nice, Ben. Uh, Hey You Pikachu could be a funny one-off. I think Hey You Pikachu, if I, if, I don't know, maybe if we do attempt doing spinoffs, I could do Hey You Pikachu as like a one-off thing. I'm doing good. I helped my friend reach level 10 hype tra Yo, that's awesome. That's awesome, Deadpool. The highest hype train I've seen so far on like streamers I watch was uh was N34's um stream yesterday, her debut. I got a gift sub through that, and I think it was like what hype train eight, I wanna say, that she got. Somewhere around there. I do remember the Hey You Pikachu ad because I have Pokemon Movie 2000 on VHS, and that ad is on the VHS. So I, I do, I, I, I saw that quite a bit when I put that movie in. I think it's, I still have it on VHS somewhere in my house. Well, well, damn. I never really necessarily, like... I mean, it's been years since I've seen oh, the older Pokemon movies as well. I did. I watched all of, um, Concierge. And, oh my god, that shit's so fucking cute. Okay, last night... I, I, I vented a bit on my Twitter last night. For context, last night, after I got off of VC with uh with you guys because i was in the the silly vc hanging out with viewers playing like some skylanders yesterday i was overstimmed that's why i kind of left a little early i like i was genuinely overstimmed i don't know what caused me to get overstimmed but i did and that night i just had a stop motion animation like night i guess because i i started by re-watching um del toro's pinocchio again because i love that movie i genuinely fucking love that movie it's one of the most beautiful movies i've ever seen i i i, I rewatched that and then after that i was binging through netflix because apparently my tv still has netflix i don't know why my phone doesn't be because of the password sharing but my TV still has it, which I don't understand, but I will take it. So I I was like, oh, I'll rewatch Pinocchio. I'll and afterwards I checked out Concierge. And oh my god, it is the cutest shit ever. I I love seeing the casual side of the Pokemon world. I love that so much. I don't need um, I don't need, like, this super, you know, like, action-filled stuff. Just seeing Pokemon, just seeing Pokemon exist, just like, oh my god, this is awesome. I highly recommend it, Leak. Del Toro's Pinocchio is a fucking phenomenal movie. And I, I, I genuinely recommend anyone check those out like check it out if they haven't i mean the dude makes bangers and this was this was a, this was a, this was a banger Cause, like i watched it as soon as it came out like when it, when it came out I, I i watched it and man it was it's such a good movie but after watching concierge why does concierge open <laughs> open up the way it does? I I it just it just it just you know decided to to do it that way, and you know what? I respect it. Like con concierge is just cute. Like I just had this dumb grin on my face the entire time, being like, "Oh my god, this is awesome!" I I wish. I, I wish I had this job. 
This sounds fun. Just be around Pokemon all day? Hell yeah! This sounds awesome! And then, like, but... Oh my god, I... It was so cute. But then immediately after that, I, I was just browsing Netflix, and I was reminded that, uh, that about the Chicken Run sequel. And I was like, oh shit, I, I haven't seen that yet. So I immediately after that, I'm like, huh, I've just been watching a lot of stop motion animation today. It, it wasn't even like I was deliberately trying to like go after stop motion either. It just conveniently was like what I ended up watching. And like, I remember when like, uh, it came out, people were like apparently disappointed or something. And, but like, I watched them like, this is fun. Like, it's not as, like, I'm not gonna, like, it's been years since I've seen the original Chicken Run. Like, it's been literal years. But, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time. It's a fun movie. All I need is just a good time. Because stop motion movies go off. They do. Well, we're supposed to be getting, like, I think it's the sequel, they have the same voice cast. Really? Maybe it's just been that long since I've seen the original, but I swear, like, all of them sounded correct, but... I, again, it's been years, so, like, maybe I just don't remember it correctly. I mean, I, as a kid, I didn't know, sh like, I, I, obviously, as a kid, I didn't know what Chicken Run was based off of, obviously, being an adult now, I very much get the theming and everything around the movie. But as a child, I'm like, haha, funny chicken movie. Oh, the chicken's dead. Oh, and they've escaped. That's so cool. As an adult, I'm like, holy shit, what the, what the, <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh. Well, I'm super excited for the new Wallace and Gromit movie this year. Because we're supposed to be getting a new one. Obviously, you know, it's, it's very unfortunate that Wallace's VA passed away. But I, I am very excited for the new one. Yeah, there's a new one coming out this year. Like, we're getting another movie. Which I'm super excited for. I, I grew up with a Wallace and Gromit DVD that had all of their shorts. And they had all their short films. Like, they had, like, the Penguin one. It had uh, Shaun the Sheep. It had um, the, the Moon one. And then it had the Bakery one. And, um, and then, what was it? Uh, Brain. Hello there, Swedish bro. How you doing? Uh, and then obviously watched Were Rabbit, and it also had like all their like actual proper shorts on it as well. So like my brother and I, we were obsessed with that as a kid. So I, I I'm extremely excited for the new movie. Again, rest in peace, Wallace's VA. But still, I'm very excited. Man, I'm having, like, awful, like, shiny luck today. Yeah, that was uh, the Shaun the Sheep one with the with the Terminator Bulldog. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm i excited. I mean, I love Ardman. Are, 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 any, any, any of Ardman's movies I just adore. I, I, I think they're pretty rad. The only downside is they they attempted to make NFTs at one point. I don't know if they committed. I don't think they did, but I think after people said this is bad, they didn't do it. But, you know, I, I, outside of that, their movies are pretty good. <laughs> I think they announced they were going to do it, and then people said no. And then they stopped. Like, I, and I, again, I'm assuming it was a higher-ups thing. I'm obviously 
animators have nothing to do with that, so, like, you know, higher-ups are stupid, you know, higher-ups are, uh, very, very dumb. We're gonna, we're gonna make some NFTs, I'm gonna buy my board apes. I wanna buy some, you wanna buy some apes? You wanna, wanna buy some lazy lions? I wanna buy some, some, some pixel, some shitty pixel art? I wanna buy this thing that's probably racist? Buy, buy my, buy my NFT. Costs a house. Do you want to use your head and your ape NFTs to pay for burgers? <laughs> People, when they bought NFTs, be like, this is going to cost me. This is, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy so much stuff. When I have so much monetary value with my NFTs. I just find it so funny that NFTs are practically just fucking dead. Like, it's just funny because, like, everyone's like, NFT, 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 and now, like, it's just dead. I don't see anyone talk about it anymore. It's so funny. Oh, I, I do remember seeing that clip. I still, I, 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 like, I've been very open with the fact that, like, well, no shit, they're a scam. Like, it's very much like, yeah, these are obviously scams. It's like, ah, yes, I'm gonna buy the receipt. Because that's all you're doing. You're buying a damn receipt. There was a burger place called Bored and Hungry that accepted NFTs as payment. They lasted two years and went out of business. I wonder why. Bro said, buy burger with your monkey NFT. Oh no, and now my board apes is worth zero dollars? I sp my wife left me over this thing. At least I still have, oh no, my lazy lions? They're worth even, I owe them money now? Oh my God. <laughs> it's just so funny to me. And then, oh my god, I remember. I remember when fucking. <laughs> they had like their convention or whatever. They had like some convention going on. And they cheaped out on their lighting engineer. And multiple people had to go to the hospital. Like, oh my god, you're that cheap. They didn't pay for... They didn't pay for fucking lighting engineers. Like, god. I hate wooden, wooden utensils. They had a weird aftertaste for foos. Knife doesn't work and they break too easily. Huh. They bought really expensive lights for sterilizing bacteria labs. What the fuck? Someone was stupid. I think someone was being a little dumb. Imagine paying so much money for, like, a lighting engineer. Like, you pay for someone to set up lighting. And then they fucking blind you. <laughs> <laughs> like, they were bright lights that, like, genuinely, I think, cause skin irritation and blindness. Which is, uh, like, no matter what, it's still an awful thing, but it, it it's funny. It's, alright, listen, it's funny. Alright? Like, it's awful that that happened. Obviously, you know, people got affected by it, and I hope they're doing better, but at the same time, you bought a damn board ape. So, oops. Oopsie. I'm sorry you made bad financial decision? Oh. <laughs> More of the story chat, uh, NFTs are... 
<laughs> are very silly. During COVID, we had UV lights in school that were meant to be turned on when some when nobody was in there. The one time it was turned on during le lesson, they almost blinded a whole. Holy shit! That's uh. Oh my god. What the hell, Rum? Trying to blind the damn kids? Yeah, imagine just be like, oh yeah, so we sold these lights that are super powerful. Um, Make sure no one's in here, otherwise you are going to blind people. Though, to be fair, I was also a dumb kid. Uh, I wanted glasses as a kid. I thought glasses looked so cool. And I don't, I don't know, like, I literally, like, deliberately tried to fail my eye exams as a kid. I deliberately tried to get glasses as a kid by, first of all, I put my eyes... I put my eyes to the TV screen, like, uh, directly against my TV, and my mom's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I want glasses. I, w I want glasses. And I deliberately lied during my eye exams as a kid. But, like, the eye doctor, I, I, uh, I keep forgetting the exact term off the top of my head. But straight up was like, th they could clearly tell I was lying. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> they just, my mom, <laughs> hey, 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 Corva, say hey, Zach, I'm not beautiful. <laughs> but <laughs> they gave me glass, like, glasses frames without the lens. Because I was a dumb kid. Here's a secret for Olive Garden eat all, uh, eats all the breadsticks you so you can bankrupt them. Wait, here's a secret to Olive Garden. Eat all the breadsticks so you can bankrupt them by eating the tasty breadstick and only order water. So true. I'm not beautiful. Oh my god, chat. Like every time, like I, I have to say, I'm mid at best because it's true. I mid, I mid at best. I don't, I don't understand what you people see in me. I'm, I'm very mediocre. Ah! The hell! Stop that! I don't want to be in the ball. Accept the compliment? I suck at accepting compliments. Compliments are hard, okay? Compliments are extremely hard. Like I'm very I'm very bad at give accepting compliments. It's 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 very hard. Compliments are easy. Yeah, they're easy to give, but I don't I I then don't accept the compliment. She you right. You're beautiful in your own ways, VTuber or not. I, 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 just, like, to me, I just think I'm mediocre at best. Like, because, again, for me, I, <laughs> uh, excuse me, I, I just suck at taking them. Just genuinely. I've always sucked at taking compliments. You're mega gorgeous. I, I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> like, it's also the fact that I just feel like I don't pass well enough. Like, it's just part of my, my head. was like, I don't pass. So, you know... Uh, it's a, it's a little, a little hard, so. It's a hard to accept something when my brain's like, oh yeah, no, uh, I don't know if you passed, Chief, I don't know about that one. I 
I, I swear I do try. I try to accept compliments. It's just hard, man. It's hard. I mean, I, I, I like for me, it's very it, like I, I, it's not even really like a, a neurodiversion thing. It's very much for me just a, a, a complete like gender thing. At least for me, I understand like because I have a you know I have lots of neurodivergent friends that are like you know they feel similar to that. But for me, I'm just not particularly good. Well, ye, that's why I'm saying, like, I understand others do. It's just, at least on my end, it's very much just a gender thing. You get A-, minus, at least in Q category in my mind, so that's more than a passing grade. Oh. I also worry sometimes when I say... When I say, like, uh, the whole thing... Of like I disagree I always worry that people also think I'm trying to fish for compliments I I I I, I have a lot of like anxiety on my end where I'm like I I genuinely hope people aren't just thinking I'm doing it for the sake of fishing it's very much just again it's it's a it's a uh, it's just a gender thing for me Oh, so where's my shiny Vibrava? Oh my god. Like, good lord. I'm trying to get my Vibrava, man. Like, for context, for those who don't know the shiny Vibra Bra shiny Vibrava, it's, uh, it's red. So I'm trying to find a red Vibrava. There's a new monster type in Master Duel. Nice. I'll be streaming Master Duel Friday, so. Red versus blue. I think that was Shulk that brought that, like, red versus blue up in BC yesterday. It was a good time in VC yesterday. For me, like, hanging in VC with the community is a way for me to, like, provide content, but also kind of vibe. Because I've been open with the fact that I, I ramble a lot on streams because I always feel like if I don't chat all the time, I'm not providing anything. I don't like, I don't like being quiet. So. Well, yeah, so, so for it, for those who are unaware, if you guys see me in the Hail Silly VC or the Hail Silly Chat VC on Discord, that's an open VC. Anyone's free to join that. Like, that's just an open VC. People can hop on in, watch, or play if I'm playing something or whatever. You guys are, you guys are very much, you guys are very much able to just join that. I got no issue there. Like, that's, that's just an open VC. Can we hop in even if you're not in it? Yeah. I mean, people can hop in VCs if people want. Like, we have tons of open VCs. I've also been open with the fact that, like, if people want to play games with each other on the server, you guys are free more than able to. Because we have, like, the crew rules on the server, like the Pokemon crew, Unite crew, or whatever. Those are all pingable crews, like, pingable roles. That everyone can ping. You can, like, all I ask is you don't spam it. Like, if you're just trying to find people to play with, you could just go, like, at Pokemon Crew. Uh, hey, do people want to do some battling or something? Or, like, at Overwatch Crew. Hey, do you guys want to queue up or something? Like, like those, those... Those, those rules exist for a reason. Those rules exist for people to, to ping and be like, Hey, I'm looking for blank. You know? Also, you you know, if you get annoyed by those pings, you are able to remove them. You're not required to keep them. These are all just optional things, so. In a D&D campaign, there's a, clown, uh, there's a clown, a deranged clown named Chuckles the Clown, and he once said, 
I scream, you scream, we all scream the terrible house fight. Oh. Oh. Oh no. 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 Why would you burn the house down on a family reunion? What the hell? Why would you do that, man? I just play like four games. DBD, Fortnite, Phasma, and Lethal Company. I'm pretty sure all of those games have crew roles. Outside of Lethal Company. Outside of Lethal. Let me double check. We might have a lethal company role. I oh, we do. Yeah, okay. We have all those. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, wait. No, we do have a lethal company role. All right, never mind. We have everything. I, uh, I double checked. We do. <gasps> Listen, I forget half the rules I f can make on the server. We also, yeah, I mean, we eight, those roles are added pretty much like when an EQ member plays a lot of a specific game, we add a role for it. So, like, if they're streaming it or they're trying to find people to play with, they can ping it. That kind of thing. Because, like, the most recent one we added was Final Fantasy XIV. Because I know, like, a lot of people are going through a Final Fantasy fourteen kick right now. <sighs> and I'm trying to make sure that the EQ... I'm trying to make sure the EQ Discord does not just feel like my Discord. Well, because... Objectively, majority of people that join are from my community. That is just an objective fact. Which is nothing wrong with, by the way. I Anyone that joins the Discord, I'm glad to have y'all. Trust me, I love chatting with you guys off stream and fucking acting goofy. I love that shit. I'm just trying to make sure that every member has their category feel like theirs. I mean, they don't. <laughs> Outside of Rebecca, Rebecca's been on a fucking grind lately. She does like two to three streams a day. I respect that. Like, she's been on a grind. Meanwhile, I stream almost every day. It would be every day if it wasn't for Sunday being a day. Like, off the top of my head... And again, this is no disrespect to any EQ member. They are literally all some of my closest friends. Right? They're all my closest friends. The EQ members that stream the most would be me, Rebecca. Uh, she does two to three streams a day because her streams are shorter. She does about like two to three, like I think like two and a half hours is usually like her, her most of her stream time at most. And she does it because of, like, her fluctuating schedule. I know she has things like therapy and such that she does, so. But if we're picking members that stream the most, it would be me, Rebecca, Nina. Oh, I'm trying to figure out after Nina. Because I would say... Before her mini hiatus slash break, probably Jazzy. Because Jazzy streamed a lot as well. Like, Jazzy streamed a f ton. Oh, speaking of Discord, there's the link right there for those who want to hop on in. Um, I would say Jazzy before her hiatus was pretty active. Then it would, like, Plutie and Jazzy. I know Plutie has her job that she does right now, but. 
I know she's she's pretty active. Uh, Shadzi was consistent. Then after them, Songo and Roddy fluctuate. Like, I know Songo has her subathon right now, which I, I would say also makes her pretty active. So she's doing her subathon. Um, we have who else? Who else? Who else? Who would be after them? Winter Cat, I would say, would probably be after. Winter Cat would probably be after them. Then we have Cody. Uh, I said Songo and Roddy together. I I I I I grouped them together. Oh, hi, Roddy. Uh, pretty much like going off of like. Yo, Vibrava! Hold on, chat. Everyone, shut up. Everyone, shut up. Everyone, shut up. Everyone, shut up. Woo! Let's go. Finally. Good God. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Okay, we're good. Hey, Titan. How you doing? Let's go, lads. Finally, we got the Vibrava. Oh, my God. Actually, I let me evolve this thing real quick. Before I forget. Oh, thank the Lord. Because shiny Vibrava is cool. It's cool shiny. This is Ratter. Look at that Flygon, dude. That's awesome. Let's go. Good shiny. Very good shiny. I like my I like my blues. I can see under the map. Yeah, like I said, it's a well put together game. What else do we have? Uh, let's go after... What was the next target? There you are. Luxray. I go for a shiny Luxray. Uh, but as I was saying, after Songo and Roddy, it would probably be Winter, then Code, then Nat. But Nat's also new to streaming and streams once a week. So that's valid. I know, like, they're currently on a... Wait, is that? Is that a? Is that a shiny crick? Is that a shiny cricketune? Is that a shiny cricketune? Second shiny cricket tune. Okay. Okay. I. Wow. I'm not, I'm not gonna say no. That's just another shiny right there. It's a cricket tune. I already have a cricket tune, but like. It's free. Yeah, it's free. I'm not gonna say no. It's free. Cool. All right. Uh. 
back to what I was saying. Uh, after after Nina stream wise. Uh, not Nina. After Nat stream wise. I know Brooke is because like is mostly focusing on art. And then after Brooke would probably be like Gabo. And then after Gabo is just like everyone else who doesn't stream in EQ. Like, you know, you got Luna. Draith used to stream, but now he's been focusing on his music. Uh, and then Ian streamed like literally once when one of his albums was debuting. So like, yeah, I mean, EQ isn't just streamers. Like, we, I, I know I've said that a few times, but, you know, e EQ is not just a streamer group. It is a content creation group. We have variety in, like, what we have. We used to just be a streamer group. But we moved away from that because it, 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 it felt like we couldn't have the people we wanted if we just did it. Plus, it also put less pressure on the people in the group to stream because like obviously like not everyone like has an equal amount of interest in streaming like I know like for example Brooke primarily is doing her art you have uh, Luna as well like Luna joined as like one of our like first like primary like artists outside of Nat like, Nat originally was just joined as an artist, and then they joined, you know, then they later became a streamer. Um, Draith joined as a streamer, but now does his music, which, again, phenomenal music. Uh, Ian, Ian joined because of his music. Nat joined, got thrown in the basement. No, they, they left the basement. That's how they got into EQ. They left it. They crawled they crawl they crawled their way out of the basement. <laughs> but E, I, I I'm just trying to my best to make sure EQ doesn't just feel like the hail group. It's why like when I don't stream, I always try to also include like, hey, today check out another member's stream. And why I try to encourage people on my side of the community to check out other people. Because who knows? They might like my content, but they might love Roddy's, for example. Or they might end up loving Nina, or Rebecca, or Shadzi, or Pluty, or, you know, anyone in the group, you know? I want, I want to make sure that everyone is represented equally. And obviously, you know... We, one of the first things we said to members joining is that they don't have to make this a huge focus. They can just do, they can pop in, post something, then leave for literal months. There's nothing wrong with that. I know, like, Luna does that, for example. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. It's very much a friend group first. And, like, content group second. It It, it, it is just we brand ourselves as a group of friends and we do our best to make sure it maintains that way because once you start treating it more like a business it's not as fun like it's very much like you know we want to make sure it stays fun which is why tomorrow i'm super fucking excited i'm super excited about tomorrow's like build stream like that's gonna be awesome it's literally just going to be an excuse to just build in Minecraft creative mode and make content out of it. That's awesome. It's kind of like with the servers I'm in because one of my IRL peeps have fr has a friend who streamed with them in a server just like that. Yay. I mean, I always like, per personally, I prefer streaming with others. I very much, like, I've always wanted to just have a group. Like, a group of people I can constantly rely on to do stuff with. Because, uh, like, uh, like, the majority of my streams, 
our solo streams. Like, that's true. But just knowing that at any point, I can just hop in a VC and, like, at least, like, one or two people are going to hop in to just chat along with me. Just knowing that elevates the experience for me. That and also, like, a lot of the time, said group determines what games I'm buying and or playing. Because, I mean, at least, like, lately, most of the time, it's been things like Overwatch and Fortnite. And, but, like, we've also been doing Stardew as of recently. Stardew, I mean, I love Stardew. It's one of my favorite games of all time. First, I just wanted to make more group, uh, friends besides the ones I know who stream with other known people. Like, at the end of the day, I just want to make friends and stream with them for fun. Yee. I mean, it's very much, like, at least on my end as well. I just, like, hanging out with the people that I know. I love meeting new people, don't get me wrong. I love that shit. But also, like... I'm not, like, worried of, like, having to constantly be, like, uh... Like, oh, I need people to collab with, or blah, 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 kind of thing. Oh my god, Luxray, I literally, if you keep hitting me, you're going to, like, start despawning, and I don't want to deal with that. I would like to get the shiny Luxray. Oh my god, bro! Sir! Oh my lord, I can't move! Oh my lord! Okay. No yellow Luxray. I'm gonna... Re I'm gonna reset the area. Good lord. Like, lads, I'm trying to find the yellow Luxray. As a reminder, for those who uh, don't know, Luxray Shiny is the blue of their body will become gold. God, Luxray is such a cool Pokemon. Can we all just agree Luxrays are super awesome? Like, this thing is just cool. I mean, God, man. God. Oh, I wish as well. Like, I wish Luxray was, like, actually good in VGC or even, like, singles. But man, is it a cool looking Pokemon. Hey, Star. I'm surprised it's not in Unite. I feel like Luxray is, like, an inevitability, you know? I'd say, like, give it time. I mean, look at this thing. This thing's awesome. I'm doing pretty well. We've just been chatting and uh, vibing and all that good stuff. Luxray will be an attacker? Oh, of course it'll be an attacker. Pokemon Unite try to not turn people into attackers challenge. Difficulty impossible. Like, my god. I do be at lunch? Nice. Nice. Like, we're just kind of chilling today. I'm taking, like, a small break from VGC at the moment. Just because of the fact that, like, it definitely felt like I was starting to get a little burnt out. And I don't know if you'd be burnt out before, like, the, the national, like, the, before the American Championships. So, like, we're, we're just taking a small break. What's up, Star? Pokemon Unite fandom, can we not get an attacker? Okay, all-rounder. God, so, so true. Pokemon Unite, try not to add, like... An attacker all-rounder challenge.
Can we can we get some defenders or like some support? No. You you get you get uh another fucking attacker. Hi name. How you doing? You see guys, we're balancing the game by making them all rounders. God, actually true. Hey guys, it's me. If you had to play one system for the rest of your life, including streaming, what console would it be? Oh, it'd be Switch. It would have to be the Switch just because I stream so much on the Switch anyways. It would have to be the Switch. I'm doing good, just tired, just eepy. Hey, PC's cheating. That's not a console. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. You can't put PC. That's cheating. It said console. Put down a console. Xbox for me. I got too many games on Xbox. That's fair. Yee, yeah, I'm good. Just EP. I have a console on it. That's cheating. You can't be cheating like that. Pick a console like a like a like a like a real Songo would. I'll be fine. I just suck at getting sleep. Last night was just hard getting sleep. Wii U or PS3? Wii U's an interesting choice. I respect it. To be fair, I've also been streaming a lot on the Wii U lately, so. Like, I say Switch just because I already, like, I already stream a lot of Switch games in general. So, for me, I know for a fact that, like, I could just, like, live off of, like, I could stream primarily Switch games and be fine. Because I got Master Duel. I got that. <laughs> I knew Roddy was gonna like pop in or someone was gonna pop in and say the PlayStation 5 has no games Thank you Deadpool The hydrates appreciated Hey guys, it's me Pyrocynical. I love fat furry inflation and the PS5 has no games Buy my plushie buy my my gamer subs cup I say as someone who bought both the plushie and the, the camera subs cup. Yeah. <laughs> I, lo I, I, I love Pyrocynical, Charlie. I love Pyrocynical. <laughs> Why did it make Pyrocynical sound like the Swedish chef? Hey, his girlfriend's Swedish, so, like, it's fine. Hey, guys, it's me, Pyrocynical. I now live in Sweden. Uh, I, I I listen, man. I I fucking love Pyro, man. Pyro Pyro Cynical is in my top five YouTubers. I I watch all of his slop, all of his slop, all of it gets watched. I have his plushie on my desk. I got the Gamer Subs cup on my desk, and um, anytime I mention I love Pyro Cynical, the entire Someone in my chat's like, I wonder why, and I'm like, shut up. PlayStation Five has no games to uh, to the point where they come back in time, destroy all their games that they could never have again. Unlimited games, but no games. <laughs> oh my god. Hey guys, it's me, Pyrocynical. And today we're gonna talk about. Today we're gonna talk, talk about whatever slop's going on. I got my Dark Requiem XYZ Dragon yesterday. Nice. Herbert, Herbert. Uh. 
I'm glad Brawl is getting more love as of lately. Brawl's a fun game, all right? Like, Smash Bros. for me, as more time has gone on, has become more party game than fighting game. Like, I, I like don't get me wrong. I, I do respect the Smash competitive scene. But I very much play it more as a party game nowadays. I like having my items on. I think it's funny. Hey guys, it's me, Pyrocynical. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw furries today. Thank you, name. Thank you. <laughs> Brawl walk to ultimate can run. She right. I don't think no items is boring because, like, again, fighting game player here. But like, the just the more I play ultimate, I'm like, I do think I prefer the shenanigans of ultimate than the competitive scene of ultimate. I, I, I very much enjoy, like, turning on items and beating the shit out of people with, like, a home run bet. Plus, I feel like not a lot of people stream that side of Smash. A lot of Smash streams nowadays are, like, climbing to, like, climbing into Elite Smash or fighting, like, competitively or tournaments. And now, like, on my end, I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna slap items on and beat the shit out of someone with a home run bet. It's Terry Bogard, of course, my, my boy. Hey guys, it's me, Pyrocynical. And and today, guys, we're gonna we're gonna be talking about Five Nights at Freddy's. And rating all of the characters based off attractiveness. Number one, Toy Chica. Noise, Zach. Noise. I, I like my boy Terry. I think Terry's red. I mean, I play Terry, me, Gunner, Mega Man... Incineroar. They're 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 my go-to's. And Pokemon Trainer. Pokemon Trainer is also awesome. I'm also not gonna disagree there. Brawl had like amazing had amazing single player content. It was just a good game, man. It was just a good game. I mean, Brawl was my first ever fighting game, so. Played that shit for hours. Hey guys, it's me, Pyrocynical. And today we're gonna talk about this big tit fish I found on the internet named Tailstone EQ. She's got big booba and big, be and big belly. So she's my favorite VTuber. I like the thick bitches. <laughs> <laughs> My main is Meta Knight. I'm on a watch list. <laughs> true. So true. Hey, guys. Can we all, like, uh, can we all try to get Pyrocynical to notice me? That's the goal. I, I, I want Pyrocynical to notice me. I mean, why do you think I added, like, the, the belly? Uh, so Pyro no would notice me. Lamal. Love the belly, thank you. I I I do my best. <laughs> Mass post on Reddit. I think he goes on Reddit. I mean, if if I like, you know, hear me out. Hear me out, guys. Uh, I I I someone make a PNG version of the pyro plushie and the pyro cup, right? Someone. Someone send me like cropped PNGs of those. I'll put them on my VTuber model, and then everyone just go to his subreddit or tag him on Twitter, saying I'm their I'm his, I'm th his biggest VTuber fan. I think I think that'll be. Oh, and what I'll do is I'll activate Max Belly as well, 
I need I need someone to do that stat. I need I need someone to send me those PNG stats so I can put them on my VTuber model. So he'll notice me. I need Pyrocynical to notice me, man. I need him to notice me. He'll notice. He will. That's why I need them. Chat. I need the PNGs, please. Please, chat. Please. I need I need my cropped PNGs of the cup and the plushie. So I can have Pyrocynical notice me. Even better than Penguin Z0. What's up, what's up gamers? It's me, uh, it's, it's me, Mo Moist, Moist Chungus. Uh, and uh, today we're going to talk about not very epic gamer news. Uh, Activision Blizzard added again. Uh, not very Reddit Chungus moment. What's up, gamers? It's me, Moist Fish, Fishicle. Uh, Pokemon, kind of cringe. I can't, I can't believe, I can't believe they would do this. Absolute bu bu buffoonery. A a a a absolute, absolutely tragic. I mean, Ganondorf is great, so not the fedora as well. No, 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 no. The fedora has to be included. The fedora has to be included. <laughs> but chat, I need someone to send me PNGs of the plushie and the cup. If people can do that, post it in Icy Lobby on the Discord server. Again, if you're not on the Discord, uh, join it. Uh, linked in the description on YouTube and, uh, and, uh, and panels on Twitch. I know, right? Yeah, so Pyrocynical had a GamerSup's waifu cup leak. Where they turned him into a thick bitch, <laughs> and I and I own it. I own it. It's the only it's the only gamer subs cup I have, but I own it. I own it, man. I got I got my I got my pyrocynical waifu cup. But yeah, I need someone to send me those PNGs and post them in icy lobby so I can slap them on my VTuber model, and then us as a community will all tag pyrocynical on Twitter. Or Reddit, your platform of choice, and he'll get. We'll get him to notice me. I mean, I'm. I. It's a funny cop. I. It's in my. It's in my mini fridge because I'm scared to have it just out. Ah, uh, gamer. I like their dragon fruit. I like their pineapple flavor. Uh, and the other ones are just okay. I think I also came like a peach. And a mango. And those were just okay. But I actually really like the pineapple. I actually might get more of the pineapple. It was actually pretty good. Like, it was actually pretty good. I mean, apparently, allegedly, it's not made from chemicals and made from other shit. So, do they think I'm living a healthier lifestyle? We're gonna go with that? But I don't know. I, 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 I just take my I just take my little powder, I put it in the cup, and Pyrocynical became yellow. Like like the pineapple flavor did did just straight up look like piss when I put it in the cup. It straight up looked like piss. It, was, it tasted pretty good though. I didn't get Pyrocynical to show up, put furry art on your stream. Well that's why I need the cup and the plushy PNGs. So I can activate Max Belly, have have the plushie in the cup in hand. I'll I'll put like my my persona on stream or whatever, like Koopa Hail or some shit. I'll put on my scaly shit, and then everyone just ping him on Twitter or Reddit or whatever, and uh, so he noticed me. I need him to notice me. It's important, man. It's important. Give me five bucks to Photoshop them out for you. Nah. I'm not that desperate. <laughs> oh, my lord.
Lordy Lord. This is what a normal lumpfish looks like. It is more elongated, elongated. but still, still a vibrant, vibrant blue, blue color. color. Very beautiful. Very, beautiful. Very, Very powerful. powerful. Uh, we have fun here on the Hailstone EQ channel. <laughs> we have fun here. We have good times and good memories. What the frick? What do you mean? I'm literally just asking for PNGs. I'm not asking for anyone to crop it out. I'm saying if people find PNGs, it's out of my way. Like, my God. I want someone to make the belly bigger. I mean, at some if, if YouTube ever adds channel points or, like, something equivalent to channel points, that, that'd be pretty rad. Like, it, it, I, th I think it'd be really rad and really cool if, you know, YouTube would add that. You know, that's pretty rad. Question, what's a game that you just quote randomly? <coughs> uh, Metal Gear Solid Revengeance. Also, hello, welcome, uh, Cable. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the follow. I'm sorry this is when you choose to follow as us being absolute dumbasses, but, uh, welcome. <laughs> like... Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is just the friend the boys and I we just quote that randomly Like we'll just quote it every so often whether it's Armstrong or Raiden Doing good and that's the best time to follow. I mean hey fair enough Hope you're doing well We're talking about how I want Pyro Cynical to notice me and how to make him notice me is to just add the plushy the cup and uh furry stuff on my screen then he'll notice me <laughs> and then he'll finally notice me his biggest fan his biggest slop enjoyer you ever seen the smash animations back then like from newgrounds uh i remember seeing some brawl animation back in the day from newgrounds hey that's awesome cable congrats I remember the Squirtle Squad, yeah. I'm a Pokemon fan. I'm legally required to. Squirtle is also, like, my favorite Gen 1 starter, so. Like, I didn't grow up with Newgrounds. I didn't know about Newgrounds till like, years later. But I watched, like, a lot of re-uploads of Newground animations to YouTube. That's what That's what I ended up doing a lot of the time. Uh, vaguely. It's been years since I've watched the Pokemon anime. First is Swinub, and the uh, second is Shinx. Nice. I mean, we're trying to get Luxray right now. So far, we've gotten a full odds Krikatoon. Immediately after our first shiny today, which is Vibrava. Vibrava was our first one today. Which, that took about an hour. And then immediately after flying to the Luxray, as soon as we landed, we got a full odds Krikatoon. Like, I literally mean, like, fucking instantly. Uh, no, I also watched some Flip, um, Flip Studio stuff back in the day. Like, I, I grew up watching some Flip Note Studio. I tried to make my own stuff on Flip Note, but like I, I wasn't very good at it. <laughs> like I always remember like the little animation of the dude like running or whatever, like burr, 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 and then just gets hair like I got shiny Luxray from a Sword and Shield giveaway from a streamer I mod for. Oh fuck yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Maybe I should be doing some shiny giveaways. Hmm, maybe not. Nah, Actually, this doesn't sound too bad. I got a lot of, like... How many fucking Geo dudes do I have at this point? Actually, let me double check. I know I've given away, like, a few of my Magnemites at this point. Because I had, like, two shiny Magnemites I just gave away. I still got two more shiny male Salandits. I got, like, don't I have another Geodude or some shit? Or did I trade that as well? I might have traded that as well. 
Oh, no, there's my other one. I got a lot of, like, extra shinies. Got a lot of them. I mean, this game has made shiny hunting a lot easier. Which is why I've been shiny hunting a lot. Hey, that's awesome. I still want to get a shiny alpha lop honey. Especially if there's a chance that Mega Lop Honey comes back in Gen 10. If Mega Evolutions do come back, it's like, ow, I just had sharp pain on my side. That hurt. That actually really hurt. Ow. Mm. That. That actually hurt a lot. Ow. 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 Oh, that hurt. Ah, oh, fuck. Thank you, Songo. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just got lots of sharp pain on my side. But we're good. We're good. The only shiny I personally caught um, in the wild, not in raids, Scarlet and Violet, was my Asparthra. It was a field terrestrialized one with a terror type of seal. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Congrats. Oh, excuse me. I mean, this game got me into shiny hunting. Just again, it it's just super easy. So, like, it is pretty rad. Doctor! Yo! Are Turn on my fringe inhibitors. Thank you for the raid! How you doing? Welcome, Mario. How'd your stream go? Mods, can we get a shout out? Piss yourself right now? No, I don't think I will. I don't think I will. How'd the stream go, Aria? I got a Gengar from a terror raid? Nice. No one ever expects it to be as loud as it is, but it is, because it's funny. I'm also a little quiet today, to be fair, so. Mods, can we get Arya her shout-out, please? It would be very rad, very cool. Nice, Arya. Oh, shit. Thank you, Lucky Songo. Roll. Rice. Fish and seaweed. Lucky lunch. I can't Let's believe a British coffee. lady braided okay, my stream. Like Ew. I'm kidding. Wifey. Oh my lord. Hi, but I'm I I'm glad to hear your stream went well. Uh yo, Stardew Clip? Yo. <laughs> yo, we love a little bit of Stardew Valley. I love a little bit of Stardew. I love a little bit of Stardew. I mean, for me, she called me stinky. Oh, good, because you are. So for me, a lot of times when I do stuff off stream, if I am doing stuff like game wise, it will usually like I'll be in the silly VC. So if I'm playing something you have and you see me in uh, silly VC in their space, by all means, feel free to join. Motherfucker, Lamau. You're in my domain now. I am the one who calls people stinky. I'd, I'd help a friend make my tra my trainer's lore, my trainer's hometown. Nice, Zach. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Wait. Maya, is that you? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Holy shit! Yo! Maya! Oh my god! It's been years! Holy shit! Yo! Oh my god! How you doing? I know, my voice has changed a lot. It's also like I'm trying to pass as well. Lamau. <laughs> How you doing? Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Songo. Yes, Songo. It's the, it's the correct Maya. Oh my god. 
I'm I hope you're doing well, my god. Welcome, yeah, no, it's uh it's been a while. I know, right? <laughs> Last time I heard or you talk was in middle school. I mean, yeah. It's not like we, we, you know, we were close friends or anything, you know, it wasn't, wasn't like we were, you know, fucking close friends or anything. I'm kidding. Of course we were. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like you were also my first girlfriend or anything. Totally, totally wasn't anything like that. Luminion when? Luminion will happen when I cry, okay, Arya? <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, but oh my god. Bro, you. A lot of peeps are returning. I know, right? Cry for me right now. Eh! Ah! <laughs> Not like. <laughs> never that. I know, right? But oh my god. Thank you, Abba. Thank you. <laughs> Back are the boobas filled with milky eggs. No! Oh my god, chat, we've been over this. There is I <laughs> We have literally been over this. Good lord. Excellent Luminion time, my god. Okay, uh chat. Chat. Back for cleaning for me. Have a good stream. Oh my god. I hope to literally we need a chat soon. We need a chat soon. Hit me up on Discord if you still have your old account. Oh my god, we need to catch up. Okay, chat, for context. Um, Maya, in the YouTube chat. That That is one of the original EQ members I've talked about a lot. She was part of the original group. Hale is rude and she never friended me. I, I imagine. Imagine. Oh my god. Uh, she was also my first girlfriend back in middle school. <laughs> uh, yeah, wow, that, that, holy shit, that just hit me like a fucking brick. I look in chat, I'm like, wait a, wait a moment. I, I, I'm genuinely like, oh my god. I mean, she can, she can, she can see... I mean, I'm assuming she's probably, like, you know, either tabbed out or logged off right now. But, um, the Twitch chat, um, is viewable on stream. But, backstory? Yeah, so, okay, backstory time, I guess. Now that she show- Oh my god, that just- Holy shit. I- I- Oh my god, my- Wow. That was- the last fucking thing I thought would ever happen. Uh, okay, backstory. Um, Maya. Um, my, I, I've known Maya since... Fifth grade is when we really started chatting. Like, sh we shared a class since second grade. Because uh, I had to repeat uh, my second grade year. I couldn't read. I straight up could not read. Like, I legit, like, could not, like, they literally told me I, I could not read. I was not allowed to continue. So I had to repeat my second grade year. And she was in the class with me. Um. And. Uh. We became, I would say, really good friends in fifth grade year. Like, fourth to fifth grade year, we became really good friends. And in middle school. Uh. She, like, sixth grade, she became part of the original Emerald Quadrant group. You got me into Pokemon? I did! I gave you my Pokemon White copy on DS. I remember my original copy. I gave you that because your favorite Pokemon was Axew. I, I, oh my, oh my, holy. Oh my god. Fuck, my brain is like... God, wow, I, I, I'm actually... Holy shit, I'm actually like... Wow, I'm actually tearing up a bit, like, unironically. Holy shit, I... I... Wow. Uh, <laughs> oh my. TF2 was huge as well. Uh, 
Maya and I played TF2 so much. She was a spy main. I was a medic main. And yeah, no, like we, I also remember we played a lot of Go when that first came out because we were still in middle school when Go came out. And oh my god, wow, I am. Holy shit. I. Man. Take care, name. I hope you. I hope you have a good rest of your day, man. I just. So chat. I. I. I, can, I guess I can also just quickly explain. Um. I've been trying to contact. The original. Three other original EQ members for a long time now. I've been trying. Um. Cause. We have, so Ego Orb, a.k.a. Ian. He was, like, literally, like, the second member. Like, he's still around. You know, he's making his music. Hi, Larry. Um, he, like, he's still, you know, he's still part of EQ. He's making his music and all that. Um, I, I am, I am actually getting emotional right now. Oh, my God. Holy shit. I am, I am actually just, Wow. Um, CC's good. CC's sleeping right now. Uh, Kobe, aka Mr. Isaac, um, he was the fourth member, which originally was how EQ got its name. It was four of us. Uh, he's not in EQ EQ anymore. He's still, you know, he's one of the OGs, but he's, he still does stuff with us in our Q. Um, mostly TF2 streams. Shocker. Um, but there were three other members. Um, there was my cousin Josh, who literally just one day banished. Um, and I haven't been able to get in contact with him since. Uh, my friend Hunter, uh, who we've been off and on, uh, through Instagram here and there. I'm trying to eventually, I want to try and actually try and properly catch up at some point and obviously then uh there's maya who next to josh like those two have been i've been trying to get back with for a long time now because for me i'm a very <laughs> i'm a very sentimental person when it comes to friendships i i hold all my friends close to me even, like, you know, if it's been, like, literal, well, in this case, years. Um, and, I don't know, it's, man, I, I'm just, I'm just happy to hear back anything at all. Because, I mean, there was a part of me, like, earlier this year that kind of had to, give up on Josh because my dude just was like not answering anything and like unfriended me on literally like everything I was on with him I don't know what happened I, I don't know what happened I don't I don't just one day vanished which fair enough but man I just I, I'm, I'm just yeah <laughs> yeah just, um, happy. Just happy. What happened, Zach? I, I, I'm sorry for the... It's, it's been a ride. It's been... It's been a ride. I, I, I'm just relieved. It's, it's genuine, just so much relief. Like, just hearing back anything. Because... I mean, Maya was one of my closest friends for fucking years. And I'm just, I'm just happy to hear anything. Oh, God. <laughs> well, that's, that's good to hear at least, Zach. I mean, I, I try to keep in contact with a lot of people, even if it, like, even if it's literally just, like, every few months. 
You know, like that kind of thing. And just, again, just... I don't know, just hearing that... I don't know, it's it's just nice, you know? It's nice. My middle school class, we were close. Like, it was a small class. I, I, I was about, like, I would say, like, what, 22-ish students around there? Uh, it was, like, eight dudes, and the rest were girls. Uh, and it was, like, at the time, all of us were, like, extremely, like, we were a tight group. And, you know, obviously I wasn't, I didn't like, I, I heard, I, I, I did hear, um, and it's just one of those things where, it's one of those things where just hearing back from anyone from that time, just, it's nice, it's, it, it's just nice. <laughs> I mean, I'm thankful for the fact that, like, you know, I, I still have, like, friends from said time that I still, like, hang out. I mean, Kobe is still my best friend. Uh, Ian, he ain't going anywhere. He's making, he's, he's ego orb now. He's making bangers. He's making bangers. So, it's just, it's just nice. See ya, Abba. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Speaking of bangers, where's my shiny Luxray? <laughs> good lord. I would like to have my funny yellow Luxray now. It would be so awesome and so cool. If I could just see the funny yellow Luxray. Oh my god. I mean... Obviously, you know, I don't talk about everything in my life. All right, bye. I'll message you on Discord soon. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'm generally looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, why are some people assholes? Uh, either their life is worse, uh, so they try to put it on others. Uh, some people have, like, grew up in situations that could have led to that. And some people are just naturally like that. Um, kind of ends up, it could be anything like that. Um, but I I do try to obviously not like I I I I'm the type of person where like I'm not afraid to kind of mention a lot of stuff that happens in my actual life. Like obviously, I don't mention everything. You know, for privacy reasons, but I'm not really necessarily afraid to talk about, like, I'm, I'm not the kind of VTuber that's like, oh, I must be in character all the time, and I don't talk about actual experiences. I, I, I'm not afraid to talk about actual, like, IRL situations, you know? I'm not afraid to. You know? And I, 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 I like, I like chatting about stuff. You know, I like chatting, being like, oh, this happened in my past. Or, oh, I remember a story, yada, 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 that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah. I mean, I like being in character. But also the fact that I'm not. I, I, I feel like being in character 24-7 also kind of takes away from, like, it kind of, it kind of takes away something. Like, th to me, obviously, again, if people want to stay fully in character, thank you for the stretch, they can go for it. Welcome back, Star. You just missed, uh, a lot. <laughs> but... I'm not afraid to be in character. Or I don't mind if people are also in character. But I also feel like there needs to be some 
sort of genuine element to it. As in, like... You need, you need to have something. Yeah, like, when you're, like, constantly in character being like, Oh, everything's happy, go lucky, and... All of that, it's, it's like, nah, you, you, you can't be like that all the time. You gotta actually have, like... You gotta have some form of human element. But, that's just me. Obviously, if people wanna... If other people wanna be fully in character 24-7, that, that's entirely their choice, and I understand it. Bro, don't, don't, don't worry about it, man. Don't feel like you're obligated to show up every day. Trust me, I, I, no one's required, no one's required to show up to my streams. <laughs> you are more than welcome to pop in when it's at your convenience. Or if you want to pop in every so often, or whatever, whatever works for you. By all means, go for it. I'm mostly required because I'm a mod. I mean, mods aren't even required to show up. I like having at least a mod once in a while. But, like, you know, I'm not, like, being, like, you know. Well, I, I, I appreciate the support. Obviously, I do. I'm not saying I don't. But also, like, I want people to know, it's like, you're not, you're not required to be here. You're not required to be here. God, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta let Ian and, I gotta let Ian and Kobe know. Hold on. Good lord. <laughs> Can we take off the shackles that you for it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you can take those off. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, where's the key? I can break these cuffs. I mean, the key I put on the dinner table, the dinner room table. Like I'm put I'm 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 putting the key on the dinner room table. Uh so I mean you yeah, yeah, yeah. The crowd on was staring straight at me. <laughs> True. Me me when crowd on me when Groudon. Uh, I just DM. I just DM'd both uh, Ego Orb and Kobe. Be like, oh my god, our friend showed up on stream. Uh, imagine getting stared down with a literal embodiment of the land. It's funny. Okay, and the cuffs are just long enough to where we can't reach it. How cruel. It's not cruel. It's called it's called teamwork, you know? You gotta you gotta work together. You gotta work together to to make it work, you know? You gotta work together to get the key. Get the key to your balls. I mean, what? Huh? Sorry, sorry. Ha, 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 ha. Oh my god. <laughs> Sora, Sora, you have to use the key to, to, to get, get, get to the balls, the kingdom balls. Oh my god. Listen, it's unite if you think about it, alright? If you squint, 
if you squint enough. If you squint enough. It's just, they'll, 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 don't worry about it, don't worry. Hold on, chat, let me quickly type something. Ugh. I want desperately a Kingdom Hearts mod that just replaces the word hearts and hearts with balls. <laughs> oh my god, Zach, what is that? Holy crap, that's 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 funny. That's funny. What, you don't like dealing with busted legendary Pokemon in a competitive game? You don't like that? Not the Kingdom Balls! No, Mickey! We have to defeat the darkness! Why does it suddenly sound like Sashian? <laughs> because it's funny. But the darkness! <laughs> me, me with the Kingdom Balls. Hey guys, it's me, Sora, from Kingdom Hearts. And I'm here to tell you that the darkness is bad. The darkness is awful. Do not go to the darkness. Oh my god. These donuts are great! Jelly-filled are my favorite! Nothing beats a jelly-filled donut. The darkness will take your balls. At some point, I want to return to the Kingdom Hearts, like, marathon I was planning on doing. I got stuck on one of the Peter Pan levels. Like, I was fighting, like, a shadow version of Sora. I got stuck, and I never went back to it. At some point, I will return to it. At some point. I'll use my trusty frying pan as a drying pan. I, I want to because it sounds so funny, but there's only one way I, I probably would return to Kingdom Hearts. I force, like, Roddy or some shit to, like, hop in VC with me. I just think that'd be funny. <laughs> yes, the answer is yes. But the darkness. Oh, I plan on playing... All of them on the Kingdom Heart collection. That's the fun part. In somewhat chronological order. In somewhat. Not all of them in chronological order. <laughs> the darkness! It's me, Sora, from Kingdom Hearts. Here to tell you that the darkness is icky. And the darkness is cringe. And that you should not fall for the darkness for the for the darkness is capitalism <laughs> don't fall for disney's disney's whimsy whims, whimsical happy go lucky facade not the capitalism as someone who knows nothing about Kingdom Hearts, I would love to explain the Kingdom Hearts lore to you. And that's why I think you're the perfect person to, like, do more Kingdom Hearts with. We need to take down Disney. It's been corrupted by the darkness. <laughs> just, just start making shit up about the Kingdom Hearts lore. Where is your source? My source is I made it the fuck up. Nuh-uh. My source is Disney. Look at Disney. They didn't let a four-year-old have Spider-Man on his grave. That, that, that's a, that's a, that's an uni, that is an unironic thing, by the way. I want everyone to remember that a four-year-old child died. 
and the parents wanted to put Spider-Man on, on the grave. And Disney said no and threatened legal action. I'm, I'm not bullshitting. I'm not bullshitting. So, yeah. Fuck Disney. How can graves have copyright issues? I, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. All I'm saying is it's morally correct to pirate a Disney movie. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Imagine the villains of Kingdom Hearts is trying to make a world where you can... <laughs> oh, God. Sora! It is I, the villain of K Kingdom Hearts. And <laughs> instead of the darkness, I just really want to profit off of minorities. <laughs> what the... What the fuck? What the, what the, what the actual fuck is wrong with you? Yo! Shiny Luxray! Shiny Luxray, let's go, chat! Let's go! Oh my god, dude, I would have cried if I missed. No, 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 no! Oh, 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 don't ever scare me like that again. Oh, my God. Uh, if it did, it, it did, it did leak. Oh, my God. I don't know if he has wild charge. That's the main reason why I'm not hitting him. Okay, roar, thunder wave. Chat, does Luxray get wild charge naturally? Does he get any form of recoil? Like, oh my god. It can? That's why I'm not hitting it. That's why I'm not false swiping him. I am just chucking balls. Volt switch? Okay. If it does not have a recoil move. Ro Come on. Wild Charge is learned at 80. I'm gonna wait until I see its final move before we start hitting it with, like, False Swipe. For now, we're just gonna stick. We're just gonna stick with Spore. If we see its fourth move and it doesn't do recoil, we will go critical? Oh, let's go! Oh, let's go! Shiny Luxray! And a Luxury Ball. Okay, listen, I'm not the type of person that gives a shit about the ball. But, all I'm saying is a Luxury Ball Shiny Luxray. That's a nice, the last move was Scary Face. Is it? Let's check. Oh my god! Get out of my way. Please. Okay, I'm gonna... I don't know if I saved. I'm just doing this for the sake of making... <gasps> Fuck off. D these Lux Rays are genuinely not leaving me alone. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Get me now, asshole. Okay. What was its final move? Okay, it was scary. Okay, so we could have... We could have... But, you know, I, I like to check before you got their leader. Oh, let's go. This is a great shiny, dude. 
Shiny Luxray is awesome. And in the Luxury Ball. Look at the color match. Oh my god. Again, I don't normally go for that. I normally don't give a shit. But oh my god, dude. The fact that we actually had the opportunity to put it in a Luxury Ball. Oh my. Oh my. The Synergy. The Synergy. It's amazing. It's ama It's genuinely amazing. I could go for a Glamette. Like, genuinely amazing. It's per it's genuinely perfect! It's genuinely perfect. It's genuinely perfect. Oh my god. Alright, let's go get this Glamette. I would love a shiny Glamora. Glamora has been one of those Pokemon that... I want like an ultra ball would have worked but a luxury ball that's just nice like that's just nice you know like it's just it's just nice how do I not have this tower yet hold on I'm pretty sure to claim the towers like for flying spots I have to actually beat the gimmigool let me do that real quick if I remember correctly is a horse getting chased by a dog Nice. Can I fly here now? Because I believe that's how you unlock these spots as flying spots. You have to beat the... The thing. You have to talk to the sign by it? Oh, okay, okay, hold on. So I have to talk to the sign to get it to be a flying spot. Now I can fly to it. Thank you. Thank you, chat. I knew I had to do something to, like, uh, unlock it. I knew that. But I didn't know I had to actually interact with the sign. It's appreciated. Because there's still, like, quite a few places, like... If you feel dumb, remember that someone reset their Sapphire game because their Mudkip was pink. Oh, right. Yeah, there's people that just... God, that is actually a tragedy. Where's the Clemets? Is there, like, a cave? Underground? Is there a cave underneath? Uh, we've gotten three shinies today, and one of the original EQ members that I've not talked to since middle school showed up randomly on stream today. So, yes, I'm fucking winning. I am more than winning today. I'm ecstatic. I am thriving. Three shinies in less than two and a half hours. I'm mad. Oh, my God. Hey, guys. All my Pokemon are weird colors and glitch sh sparkles around them. I think I have to refund this copy. Hypothetically, a Pokemon shows up as a different color, and it sparkles, meaning that it actually is contagious, and I have to delete the cartridge and burn it in real life. If I don't burn the cartridge, it will corrupt it, uh, to me. Why are you doing the Ben Shapiro voice? Because it's funny. That sounds like that sounds just a funny scenario. Ben Shapiro playing Pokemon. His fucking shiny is a different color. So he freaks out and just burns the cartridge. <laughs> That's just a funny scenario to me. I don't know. It's just funny. Guys, my my Pokemon have a disease called Pokey Rust. How do I cure them? I keep getting this disease, and I don't know what to do. She's part of the EQ group. Dude, if I can somehow... Like, I don't know what she's up to nowadays IRL. But if she's doing anything, like, creative, I, I and she's interested, I'm going to make her a fucking Insta member. I'm not even bullshitting. If she's doing anything creative, whether it's art, music, or is interested in streaming, fucking Insta member again. I'm not even bullshitting. I'm going to skip every vote 
she is like uh, just instantly it, it will happen like i i will i will i will fucking i i i, I will over i will overrule every fucking rule we have uh, we have an eq if if this happens Ben Shapiro being mad about Slick Spoon Pikachu? Hypothetically, we're in a tournament, and we are told that emblems are disabled. You're not supposed to use emblems. Emblems are banned. And I somehow die to a Pikachu as a Zashi emblem. Now, this should not happen. I was killed way too quickly. I think they're actually cheating. They had emblems on the entire time. I am going to now report them to the administrators of the tournament and report that their Pikachu is cheating. I have just been told that it was actually a Slick Spoon that lowers the special defense of the Pokemon that hits me. I am still going to bitch in line, though. This week in Pokemon, Hale's going on an adventure to catch shiny Pokemons. Will she succeed? Will Pyrocynical ever notice her? Find out next time in Pokemon. Let's say, hypothetically, I want Pyrocynical to notice me, as I am the biggest Pyrocynical fan on the planet. Just like him, I love fat furries. So I decide to take him on in real life. Like, actually, fight in real life. I, I'm throwing hands. In real life. With Pyrocynical. Hale cannot fight. She's lying. That's so cringe. That's so rude. Just realized you almost sound like the, vo <laughs> the voice from the Bokedex. Oh my god. Groudon. The... I don't know what Groudon is. I'm, uh, uh, Pikachu. The mouse Pokemon. Pikachu has electric sacks in its cheek that it uses to attack. Groudon, you absolute buffoon. You absolute hooligan. You little whippersnapper. I am going I am going to cry if you do not hit this glimet. Instructions unclear. Fat furry hail art. Nah, I think I'm good, Chief. I am good. Listen, I love Pyrocynical. I don't want that. I don't want that. I'm good. I'm good. I'm more than good. I'm fantastic. Without it. What does shiny glimet even look like? I should probably Google that. Would it be good or bad if that's how Pyro discovered you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't... I don't know. I'll have to think about that. <laughs> you sound like the Joker. How many liberals does it take to fill in a log by a bulb? None! They're too busy! THE GENDER! <laughs> oh, I love that video so much. Bratman, I was playing VR chat and I found her. The love of my life, Bratman. <laughs> you know how I got these scars? My, my father was a gamer. We were playing VR chat. And I found her, Batman. I found her. The love of my life. And I was instantly intrigued by the prospect of my discovery. Now, obviously, I pursued this woman. And because of it, because, be, be, because of it, Batman, my father ripped off my gamer headphones and in rage I smacked him I smacked him across the face Batman he instantly grabbed a knife and started chopping vegetables out of rage then my then my mother walked out with her Gillette razor and sliced me Across the face. And that's how I got these scars, Batman. Hey, I got a little punny 
Batman. I, I, I got a little punny. No, no, Joker. No, Joker, it's an animal. Batman, there's no laws against Pokemon, Batman. I can do whatever I want at then. Hello, fans and fetish artist. I would like to commission a way to loss. Comic, please. <laughs> Joker doing ads for his backstory. My backstory was sponsored by Dragon City. This new hit mobile game, Batman, where you can erase dragons. And guess what? There's porn of the dragons, Batman! There's a Mr. Beast dragon, Batman! I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... If Mr. Beast does not give me a million dollars, Batman... I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna put his dragon in a jar, Batman. No, Joker! Don't talk of Mr. Beast Dragon, Joker! <laughs> no, Joker! Joker! Joker, you can't talk of Mr. Beast Dragon, Joker! Oh my god, I'm lightheaded. Holy shit. Oh my god, I am I am actually lightheaded. Oh my god. <laughs> you see, my father was a, was a Dollar Shave Club user. By today, and you know what I did with his Dollar Shave Club razor, Batman? He shaved a clean cut shave. Buy it today with code Joker. Oh my god. Wait, a new Yu Gi Oh! Bridged episode released today? Oh shit. Oh shit. I know what I'm watching. I know what I'm. I know what I'm. I know what I'm watching later. There's a reindeer, Power Ranger, Power Coin for Santa. Is this true or gay porn? Which is it? Because frankly, that sounds hilarious and I want it to be true. It's true? That's funny. I don't know much about Power Rangers. Roddy is the Power Rangers guy. But that's funny. Real or gay porn, Batman? Which is it? Because frankly, I'm happy with both. <laughs> Especially. This reminds me how X-Men is the most powerful mutant in the X-Men. Wait, Santa's the most powerful mutant? That's funny. Man, Santa being a mutant makes so much sense, though. Like, unironically. Like, that just makes sense in my head. You see, Batman. All, all good, Leak. Take care. Take care. Not the most, but he is Omega. Nice. Nice. Would I be considered an Omega level threat, Batman? What do you think? What level am I, Batman? See ya, Chocolate. We'll probably be ending stream uh, soon, so it's all good. Oh, I do have a raid target for today. I do, I do have a raid target ready. Yeah, be good. Batman, I'm gonna, I'm gonna commit some crimes, Batman. I'm gonna do, Batman. I'm gonna, I'll put some dirt in your eyes. <laughs> you see, Batman, I didn't have rich parents to leave us money. 
which is why this Joker gas is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends, the best mobile RPG of the century, Batman. Oh my god. It's, it's funny. I thought it, I thought that, I, I, the lighting made it look white for a second. I'm like, there's no way. Get out of here, Buster. There's just a super villain, but their whole thing is they keep reading off ads because they don't have the money to, like, actually buy their equipment. So they keep committing crimes just to, like... They keep reading ads just to commit crimes. They have to keep going down, like, the the list of evil brands. Like, this stream is sponsored by BetterHelp. <laughs> no, Joker. Go where you can get sponsored by BetterHelp, Joker. Joker, they leaked your information, Joker. That's the point, Batman. I T. That's the point, Batman. I teamed up with better help. Oh my god, fucking... <laughs> I actually am the CEO of better help! No, Joker! Joker, no, you can't! You can't be the, the, the CEO of better help, Joker! Oh my god. Alright, lads. <laughs> We're gonna get it going. Ugh. So for those, oh god, I'm lightheaded. Oh god. All right. That being said, I hope everyone did enjoy stream. If you guys are watching on YouTube, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I will see you all tomorrow. 